rich and famous. This is my new baby, S Viera, 2018. Come, 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 Diva. Come, come. Let's, they need to see. They need to know. Too much power, too much power, too much power. Too much power. Too much power. Genius Kadungure, aka Ganimbi, was a popular Zimbabwean socialite and businessman. He was also the founder and chief executive officer of a gas company, Pomia Gases, which has interest in Botswana, South Africa, and Zimbabwe. He was also the owner of Dreams Nightlife Club. On 8 November 2020, Ganimbi died in a car accident. The car, a Rolls Royce, hit another, a blue on the feet, and then crashed into some trees. It burst into flames after crashing. Ganimbi was pulled out of the car successfully but died moments later. The other occupants of the car were trapped inside and were burned to death. Fitness Bunny Moana also died in the accident as she was one of the occupants of the car. Hey yo, what up my people? It's your boy Davido and I will be coming back to Zimbabwe for real this time. I want to apologize to all my fans that have been waiting for me out there. There's just been some little minor problems, but I will be live in Harare on the 21st of April, live at the HICC. My big brother, Janibi, is bringing me down. It's going to be crazy. I'm going to be hosted by Boy T. It's going to be a madness. I can't wait to see all you guys. Gee, well, uh, fire, fire. Background. Genius Kadungari was born on 10 October 1984 in the Boshava. In a family of four, he was also referred to by the nickname of Ganimbi, a name he used on his Facebook profile. He was the Harare International Carnival Ambassador. Business Career Kadunguri was said to have started engaging in small business transactions at the age of 17 as he became a middleman securing gas for domestic users. Genius had a friend who worked at the Angolan Airways offices. He quickly secured his first contract through a friend. He would follow up on a number of sales to gas users and that would see his fortunes turning. Within a year, he had started driving and two years later, he had a Mercedes-Benz S-Class. He went on to establish Pioneer, Pioneer Gases, which is now part of Pico Trading Company. The company supplies gas to the commercial, industrial, public and retail sectors. Good morning, family. Uh, today is Sunday. We are in Sun City. So, we are having a good time. We are celebrating my, my brother's birthday, Kitty. Networks. Ganimbi's net worth was currently not known as his businesses are not listed publicly. Based on assets known, however, his net worth was estimated to be between 10 million US dollars and 100 million dollars. Added a new $600,000 worth Lamborghini, Aventado as Roadster during the week and in October 3, 2020 to his fleet of luxury cars, which turned heads of many in the Zimbabwean capital, Harare. Crime and Controversy fraud allegations. In May 2014, Captain Guri was arrested on allegations of fraud. He was accused of allegedly the fraud in Zanu PF MP for Chaguta West, Dexter Nduna, the managing director of Badon Enterprises and the Kadoma-based miner only identified as Katawa of 1.581 rands. Kadungure was reported to have created a fictitious company named Transco Civil Engineering reportedly based in South Africa and opened an Absa Bank account for the company. He then contacted the complainants over the phone and misrepresented himself as a chief buyer for Mirage Resources, looking for mining pumps at competitive prices. It was alleged in December 2011, Gatawa reportedly sent his brother Enoch to South Africa to purchase the pumps. He was ordered to deposit 1.046 million rand for the purchase of 10 flight pumps in the Absa Bank account. After the transfers, Enoch was told by Transco Civil Engineering officials to go back to Zimbabwe and check for his parcel or DHL in three days' time. He only received a parcel of cell phone charges. Alleged debts to Motumwa Mawari. In February 2018, Ginimbi dismissed claims that he owed 340,000 rands to South African-based businessman Mutumwa Mawere. The two had a falling out and exchanged words on social media sites Twitter after Mawere asked Kadungure to pay back what he owes. Kadungure claimed that he had paid back all that he owed and said that the money could have gone to meet 
to meet him part of Mawere's legal fees when he was arrested in South Africa. Fellow socialite Wignel Chivai criticized Kedungare's response. This ghetto mentality that a Bentley or a Rolls Royce defines success is ridiculous and absurd. Otumwa Mawere has worked for the World Bank at one time exported a bestest was $200 million a year when he owned SMM. His business acumen is well to part from fuel smugglers. Tax evasion charges. Allegations against Kadunguri were that between February 2009 and May 2016, his company Pico Trading Limited misrepresented to the Zimbabwe Revenue Authority that it made total sales of $2.777 million inclusive of value added tax, when in actual fact, the company had made sales amounted to $9.092 million. To that end, Zimra claimed to have suffered a prejudice of $417,940. He was also accused of evading tax with Zimra suffering a total prejudice of $3.468 million. Ganimbi was denied bail by a Harare magistrate in a case in which he was accused of prejudicing treasury of $3.5 million in a tax evasion scam. Gadon who was represented by Jonathan Samu Kange, was not asked to plead when he appeared before magistrate Bianca Makwande, who remanded him in custody to November 30. It was alleged that Ganimbi was being targeted by political strongmen due to being a false cousin to Mary Chowenga. In December of 2018, after he was granted bail, Ganimbi's passport was released so that he could use it up to January of 2019. This came after Kadungari's lawyer Jonathan Samkange applied for the temporary release of the passport. Kadungari said he wanted to help Zimbabwe in the prevailing gas shortages. The state, represented by Shepard Makonde, did not oppose the application but said that the passport must be replaced with title deeds as surety. In July 2020, Kadungare was acquitted of the charge of failing to declare returns on gas sales to the Commissioner of Taxes. His company, Pico Trading, was acquitted of two counts of failing to declare tax returns and of smuggling gas into the country. Pico Trading was charged for smuggling 5,289 kilograms of gas into Zimbabwe. Guys, I miss you guys, I miss you guys. I just came for a few minutes to say hello, 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 hello. hello. Personal life Zodwa Mkandla. In 2014, it was reported that he was engaged to Zodwa Mkandla, 11 years his senior, and no mention has been made of them having gotten married. In April 2018, Ganimbi disclosed that he and Mkandla were no longer together. He told the Eastern Times that he was single, although he had a good relationship with Zodwa, whom he continues to do business with. Yo, my name is Jinimbi. It's time to go out. Guys, we're gonna be going down. We are going to dream in the next few minutes. It's gonna be going down. It's Moana's birthday. Wild parties. Kadunguri was known as the king of blink and for throwing lavish parties. In 2010, he threw an expensive all-white birthday bash in Harare, where an estimated 17,000 US dollars was spent. The party drew scores of people from Harare's northern suburbs and guests were treated to high-end whiskey, bright-colored cocktails, champagne, as well as seagulls at his Greystone Park home for three consecutive days. Two years later, in 2012, Kadungare hosted another extravagant birthday party which was held in Botswana. The party was said to have costed an estimated $32,000 at the time. In 2013, Kedungare also held a consecutive three-day-long party at his rural home in Domboshava to celebrate a newly built mansion he had put up in the area. So, on October 10, 2020, was businessman and popular socialite genius Genimbi Kadungare's mm -hmm. birthday and he hosted his a strictly by invitation all-white party that he always does and it was a bomb. Vimbai Zamoto was wearing a white dress that had caused commotion so far on social media. Stoner too was spotted having fun. Kama Biliat's new handler, Vocal, was seen to at the party. Popular musician Kilati was also there, and he has become close buddies with Ginimbi over these few years.
Kadunguri was reported to be involved with many women. It was reported that he had been beaten up by husbands of women he had sexual relations with on many occasions. On these claims, Kadunguri said it was normal. In January 2014, he made headlines when it was revealed that he had been looking after another man's child for the past 11 years. This came to light after one Dorin Mutupwa demanded an upward review of maintenance fees to $1,500. This led the genius demanding a paternity test, and the outcome showed that Kadungari was not the father of the child. Hey. His friend. Death. On the morning of 8 November 2020, Ganimbi died in a car crash in Harare along Legacy Way, formerly Borodale Road. Zimbabwe National Police spokesperson, Assistant Commissioner Paul Nyati, confirmed Ganimbi's death saying he died on the spot. Ganimbi's car was involved in a head-on collision between 5 and 6 a.m. Nyati said three other passengers in the same car also died after the vehicle caught fire. The three were later identified as Moana, Karim, a Malawian national, and Alicia, a Mozambican national. Yo. Or come to Bentley Mall Sand. You know, you can actually do business in the car. Look at this. I don't need to go to the office. If I feel like, you know, I need something to drink, you know. I go to free, um, I need to drink my my champagne. Let me take a glass. You know? Yes, from the free. Yeah. You know the story, man. Yes. Yeah. and you think it can help you, I invite you to give it a like, to share the video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel, so you don't miss any videos.